One time I got a sample from the tea store at the mall, and as I walked away, the guy said, See you later! And then his co-worker smacked him. Was... Was he wearing a blue polo shirt and glasses by any chance? And was the co-worker that smacked him wearing a tie and glasses? <gasps> oh, this is fun. I had a dream last night that they made a new Bond movie, but they didn't say who was playing Bond. Throughout the movie, you had no idea which character is really Bond because he's undercover, duh. And every single character, no matter how minor, was played by somebody famous. So they could all conceivably be Bond. And at the end, it turns out Bond was Leslie Jones. <sighs> 10 out of 10 greatest spy movie of all the time. Take my money! If people are really going to assume that guys with long hair are gay and girls with short hair are lesbians, then I'm going to assume that all bald men are actually eagles. I knew it. Something about my dad just wasn't adding up. Sokka was the only kid in that show with social skills and a brain, and he effortlessly charmed every single person he met. Especially royalty, no matter the age or nation. This is why the writers had to nerf him and make him a non-bender. Cause if he could have been anything, the show would have been called Sokka and his good pal the Avatar, and its main conflicts would all have been resolved by the third episode, Tops. I would actually love to watch that show. Would you like a tall glass of juice that makes you stop procrastinating? Yeah, just leave it on the table for me. I'll get some in a minute. Why are mad scientists always associated with chemistry? Like a dude hysterically laughing because his test tube turned purple? What about psychologists? Or anonymists? Or just plain doctors in the good old 19th century? If you know anything about their history, you know they're the mad ones. If anyone has the capacity to turn mad, it's mathematicians. Just nobody notices because it's pretty hard to turn that into super villainy. Okay, but evil math nerd who uses math for evil is something I want to see. DIY culture. I made it myself for free. Free equals three hours, profanity in four languages, one smash thumb, and three milliliters of blood. And fifty dollars, or euros, or pounds, you're pretending cost you nothing because you got them so long ago you moved house with them four times. Wow, and here I thought call-out culture was dead. There is no lie here. Still cheaper than therapy! When you die and you become a ghost, are you forced to wear what you were wearing when you died for eternity, or can you go to, like, Ghost Gap and buy some new ghost clothes? If there's ghost capitalism, I swear to fuck, I'll be so mad. Overthrow the bourgeoisie. Behold, Harry Potter, the Chamber of Seacrest. I... I hate it so much. How does Mike Wals... 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 Keep stuff out of his eye, he doesn't even have eyelashes. Your Ancestry.Science results are in! 1% Blessed Sasquatch Bloodline, 2% Cryo Etruscan, 5% Florida, 6% Forsaken Sasquatch Bloodline, 7% Scientologist, 10% Wizard's Apprentice, 19% French, and 50% White. Our serious condolences. I don't know, man, that 10% Wizard's Apprentice sounds pretty fucking good right now. What is She-Ra? I'm sorry if this is a stupid question or something, I'm just super confused and we don't have Netflix. Soldier discovers magic sword and fights with the power of gay! I love it. Foolish. Indeed foolish. You fall fallen victim to the old razzle-dazzle. Fuck algebra, I don't need it, just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from there. <clears throat> I feel I should clarify I am a mortuary science major. Oh. Okay. One time my dad gave me a glass of milk and I meant to ask him, whose milk is this? Because I wasn't sure if it was for me or if I was supposed to give it to my brother. But instead I just stared down at the milk and said, who's this? Then my dad turned to me without missing a beat and said, well that's your new friend, Mr. Milk. And we just stared at each other. And then he asked me if I was high. To this day, I still have not lived it down. Adult politicians. You know, teenagers shouldn't vote because the part of their brain that deals with prioritizing long-term goals over immediate satisfaction isn't fully developed. Teenagers, can you please stop destroying the planet? Adult politicians. But the planet won't be unlivable for decades and I want oil money now! Writing prompt. You realized you misheard your daughter. There's actually a mobster under your bed. Hey, bada bing bada boom, I'm sleeping here! Turns on nightlight. Hey, Pally, what's the big ID? <laughs> Apparently, looking around the room, voice from under bed. Forget about it, I'm fucking sleeping here. What are you gonna do? You gonna kick me out of this bed? I don't fucking think so, I will throw hands! You know, PM, in your last video with the demastered Argonian, you had the chance to say, the horns say delight, but the eyes say delete. And you missed it. <laughs>